Are you specifically investigating Goldman Sachs here, or is it Goldman and Apple? Well, we're taking a look at the practice. Goldman is the bank that stands behind the Apple card. We actually license Goldman, and DFS is the regulator of financial services and products in New York. So we have a firm foundation, and we've asked the company to begin with explaining what the algorithm is. And we've been in touch with them, and they're going to come meet with us perhaps as early as tomorrow. And then we'll go deep into this. One of the problems is it's a black box. It's a black box for consumers. It's a black box for regulators. And consumers are entitled to know how these decisions are being made that affect their daily lives. But the, but the algorithm's not unique to this card. Uh, how common are allegations like this? And how common are investigations like this? Well, great point. Uh, it's not confined, obviously, to this instance, this particular question. As innovation sweeps through our industries, the regulators need to take a look and make sure that new technologies and algorithms are not generating disparate impact on consumers. Whether the intent is there or not, disparate impact is illegal. And just a couple weeks ago, DFS sent an inquiry to United Health Group because its subsidiary Optum, according to a study publicized in the Washington Post and I think the Wall Street Journal, was having a disparate impact on black patients in hospitals, uh, which is, uh, you know, these types of issues and allegations if these are true, it's very corrosive. A trust in government is a major issue right now. It's the role of regulators to step up, even as Washington unfortunately steps down. The states have got to be there to make sure that these kinds of discriminatory practices are not being tolerated. You mentioned the black box problem. I I'm wondering why it is still a problem, why there isn't greater transparency and who that would fall on. Is it a state issue to actually add more transparency to these processes? Well, I think it behooves industry when they're using uh, technology and algorithms to make decisions about their provision of financial services and products to consumers to be transparent with their consumers. If you, uh, it, your credit rating agency sends you a letter and says why you've been denied credit, this should be, really be no different. I think it's an opportunity, really, uh, working together with the tech industry and people who've been thinking about this for a long time to come up with a set of best practices. Uh, because it's a black box, apparently, even to the consumer service representatives uh, for the card, who, at least according to the Twitter traffic, which was legion, with many people weighing in, were not able to explain and kept blaming it on, quote-unquote, the algorithm. There's no such person called the algorithm, and the company needs to get transparent. All companies should be transparent about the decisions that they're making that affect consumers, because consumers is all of us. We are all consumers. And we're all affected by this kind of practice.